Hold on, before we get into the video, I want to let you know that if you leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below, the next time you find a Megalodon, it'll be four times more likely that it will be a Shrouded Ghost. Quickly, you're running out of time, you only have the first 30 seconds to do it in. We're almost halfway there, don't hesitate, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Right, so this is the first, uh... The first unknown trick of today's video, and I'm bringing you right into the middle of combat for this one, so I can show you probably the stupidest thing I've ever done on this uh, this tip series. So, usually kegs and skeletons are regarded as a really bad time, but I'm going to show you now that it's not as bad as you think. So, did you know, hang on, before I even say this. I want to premise this by saying I don't know if this is an intended feature or if this is a bug that's been in the game since 2018. If it is a bug that's been in the game since 2018, you probably won't see it in the game much longer after the release of this video. But if it's an intended game feature, then A1. So, did you know if you were going up against a skeleton with a long-range weapon of any sort, so a blunderbuss, a flintlock, or an eye of reach, you are invincible with a keg in your hand. I'm going to show you here. So this is a standard run-of-the-mill keg. Nothing funny about it. No funny business. And as you can see... I am not taking any damage! At all! Like none! This works with Eye of Reach skeletons. It works with, well, whatever's left of the Eye of Reach skeletons. It works with Flintlock skeletons. It works with, of course, Blunderbuss skeletons. I'm showing you in the uh, the most intense form, right? There is no reason under any sort of hit drag this shouldn't hit, right? I, I literally put my face inside of the skeleton and I don't die. I, I, I just don't die. It, it's... I, I, I do this, though. I, I take damage. I do this. Hello, shoot me. I'm invincible. Anyway. Tip one. You're invincible with kegs and skeletons. The next tip we're going to talk about. Now, this one has been speculated for a very, very, very long time. But uh, a few people managed to dig up an old developer stream that pretty much confirmed this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, what was at one stage, a rumor to rest and confirm its legitimacy here. Uh, if someone in the comments can source that video, I don't have the original link to it. I do, however, have a uh, video file that you can see in my Discord if you do care enough. But essentially... This little thing you see over my left shoulder, or my right shoulder if you're looking at it on the screen, is a Reaper's Chest. Now, these Reaper's Chests seem to appear randomly in a server, but I'm going to confirm what they mean now. So, if you find yourself in a server with either a red Reaper's Chest or a gold Reaper's Chest like this coming out of a shipwreck, it means something quite interesting. So... It's worth pointing out that the uh, the actual location of these chests don't matter. They could be anywhere around the map, okay? They're always in shipwrecks. But if you load into a server and you see that there is a uh, box of any sort, it means that there are at least three boats in your server. They only spawn when there's three boats in the server. Now, whether or not it's a red or a uh, yellow one doesn't mean anything in particular. There's just different spawn chances of them both spawning. I do believe it is a 50-50% chance. But if there is a Reaper's box in your server, it means that there is three boats at least, including yourself in this server. Now, if you do have the red and the yellow Reaper's box that we've been seeing a lot lately spawn in at the same time, supposedly it means that there is a full six boat server that you're on so next time you're looking for people uh, in a server check to see what reapers boxes are up and see if there's more than one it could mean you're in a full server with a total of six boats there you go funny tip for you guys to use 
So another little bonus tip that rides off the back of the Reaper's box uh, tip that I told you about. As you can see, I actually noticed this when I was about to leave the server after recording. If you're in a server like this one that has absolutely zero world events, right? Uh, it means that there is either A, an active Kraken in your server, or B, a, uh, a boat that's about to be Kraken. So the only time you're going to be in a server without a world event is when the Kraken is active or if it's about to be active on someone. I don't mean the, uh, like the Tooltail Kraken from Tooltail 2 in the Pirate's Life. I mean the actual Kraken that has inky water and that comes up from the depths and really messes your day up if you don't know what you're doing. So use that information as you will. This tip here is a tip for the certified chefs of your crew. Now, every single item in the game does have a different cooking time, and I'm going to tell you them right here. So write them down if you do want to keep note. If you want to cook a simple fish, like the one I have over my shoulder here, it'll take you 40 seconds to cook. If you want to cook things like pork, snake, chicken, and shark, that'll set you back one minute and about three seconds. If you're going for trophy fish, a minute and a half is the way to go, so a minute and 30 seconds. And if you're doing things like Megalodon or Kraken meat, you're going to want to put aside two minutes for that to cook. So there are your official cooking times for the chefs of the Sea of Thieves. Remember, every crew needs a chef, and cooked meat is definitely important. So use that next time you're on the seas. Right, here is a tip that you're probably never going to use. But I had to add it anyway. So, if you do want to light up a, uh, a campfire, right? They usually recommend you ignite it with your, uh, with your lantern or even with a firebomb. But little did you know, you can actually light it with a sword lunge. There you go. You don't want to use your lantern and you don't want to use a uh, firebomb. Use your sword. Don't know if you're ever going to use it or if you ever care. But anyway... Sword lunging a fire, uh, sorry, sword lunging a campfire will, uh... Guys and girls, thank you all so much for spending some of your time with me today. If you have made it this far in the video, head down to the comment section and type, I've got it, exclamation mark. Let's go ahead and confuse everyone who hasn't made it this far in the video. Get them all wondering what we're talking about. For real though, much love. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate you. We're going to get some more of these videos out as soon as I can. I appreciate you. Much love. Goodbye for now and stay safe.